Okay, this is lesson five of our rollerball game. You should have all created a um, terrain or floor, if you will, some walls to go around it, and then some objects to be picked up. Uh, to be picked up. Um, I don't know if we covered this last time, but you need to go to a game object, create empty. I created something called enemies. I probably should have called it objects, but whatever you want to call it. And then I dragged all of my prefabs into this. So instead of having this sitting up and down here with, you know, hundreds of objects, we don't want that. We want to keep it clean. So create a um, empty object, and then just drag all. First, the first one, shift, and then just drag them under uh, your enemies. And notice they're blue. These are prefabs. You should have created prefabs because the prefab retains all of the geometry and scripts if you created. So once you create one, if you drag it in there, it retains all of those um, physics, scripts, etc. You don't have to keep putting it back on. So anyway, um, when we play the game, we wanted to collect um, the tokens. So if I play mine and I just start moving, instead of it just bouncing off it, it's going to hit it, and uh, we'll start collecting them. Okay, now if your ball hangs against this wall, that means your wall is away from the floor. So you need to correct that. So all we need to do is go to our controller um, script, which is here, um, you're just going to add some lines to it. So if you're looking at it, you can see we've got the lines here. And we're going to go ahead and add um, an on-trigger collider. So after your force, under, or under your fixed update, and this should say fixed update, not just update, um, right after your uh, force, adding force to the ball, you're going to write this code here. So we have an on-trigger collider, and when we, when we put the tag pickup on it, we want it to then um, destroy that object, and pretty soon we're going to have a, take a score when it does. So it's going to pick that object up, or destroy it, if you will. And it's going to collide with it, so that's why we have the collider instead. We have the uh, sphere collider, on the ball in the um, other collider on our um, cube. So if we go here, we have the uh, box collider and the sphere collider on our ball. Okay, so when those two colliders hit, it's going to go ahead and collect it. So if we go back to our script, that's what we have. Now notice we're calling this pickup, capital P, pickup in quotes. So we need to set a tag for that. So, so when it hits it, it knows there's the tag. So um, we're going to go up to the enemy and you're going to add a tag. So highlight that. And you can't highlight them all. Probably be a good idea. Just go up here. I already had the tag. Notice this one spelled wrong. Um, let's look at my code. So I have a capital P, capital U, so that didn't work for me. So I should probably delete that one. But you're going to add new tag, and you're going to have pick with it, um, capital P, capital U, and you're going to tag all of your enemy, well, minor code enemies, your objects. What you do when you play the game, you should be able to move around and uh, collect all these tokens. Um, go ahead, get, um, give it a try. Let me know if you have any problems. The next lesson, we'll go ahead and... Um, uh, start to keep score on that.